Shalom, Yeladine. How's everyone doing today? It's so good to see you. We are going to get started with our morning mifkash, so come on over, take a seat or stand wherever you're most comfortable, and we're going to get started. Ready? Here we go. Shalom, Yeladim. Shalom, Yeladim. Shalom. Shalom. We're so glad you're here. We're so glad you're here. Shalom. Shalom. Okay, Yeladim. Let's see who's awake today. Boker Tov, Yeladim. Oh, good. You're here. It's so good to see you today. We are going to get started with our counting sticks. So if you have 15 things to count, I have my counting sticks. What did you bring today? That's awesome. Thanks for bringing that with. Okay, let's get started. M-A-Y-A -A is Maya. Boker Tov, Maya. S-O-P-H-I-E is Sophie. Boker Tov, Sophie. L-E-O is Leo. Boker Tov, Leo. I-T-Z-Y is Itzy. Boker Tov, Itzy. B-R-O-O-K-L-Y-N is Brooklyn. Boker Tov, Brooklyn. J-A-X-O-N is Jackson. Boker Tov, Jackson. N-O-G-A is Noga. Boker Tov, Noga. E-S-M-E -E is Esme. Boker Tov, Esme. R-I-L-E-Y is Riley. Boker Tov, Riley. C-H-A-R-L-I-E with the last name that starts with an R is Charlie R. Boker Tov, Charlie R. M-A-X is Max. Boker Tov, Max. C-H-A-R-L-I-E with the last name that starts with a K is Charlie K. Boker Tov, Charlie K. E-L-L-I-E -L -L -E is Ellie. Boker Tov, Ellie. N-A-O-M-I is Naomi. Boker Tov, Naomi. N-A-T-A-L-I-E is Natalie. Boker Tov, Natalie. Okay, Eladine, it is time to count. So if you brought 15 things to count, please count along with me. Let me go. Let's see. Okay, ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yellow Dean, how many friends are here today? Fifteen, that's right. Good job. Okay, Yellow Dean. Now we get to read the mitzvahs today. Okay, our mitzvah is Charlie R. helped clean the floor under his bed. That is so great. It's so good to clean under your bed. Sometimes we forget about what's going on under our bed, but it can be really dirty under there, and sometimes there could be toys or clothes under there that we completely forgot about. So it's great to always check under your bed and to clean it. Nice job, Charlie R. Can you guys count how many mitzvahs we have today? Ready? One! We have one mitzvah today. Nice job, Charlie R. Okay, Yeladim. Last week, we talked a little bit about the birds that are outside. We talked about robins, which have the, the black and gray back and the brown tummy, and cardinals. Do you remember what color cardinals are, the boys? That's right, the boys are red, and the girls are brown. And blue jays, what color are blue jays? Blue, that's right. And we've talked a little bit about what birds eat. Do you remember what birds eat? Yeah, a lot of times we see birds going after worms, especially after it's rained. There are lots of worms out, so it's easy for them to find. But birds eat other things too. They eat seeds and berries. And so I thought it would be fun today if we made our own bird feeder. I bet some of you have made your own bird feeders. And so I bet maybe you guys have an idea of how to make a bird feeder. So what I'm gonna use today is I went outside 
and I found a pine cone. Now, if you don't have a pine cone, or if you have a pine cone that looks different than this one, that's totally fine. You could use a pine cone, maybe you have an ice cream cone, that's kind of funny, or you could use a stick. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna cover it with some peanut butter, and then I'm gonna put Cheerios on top of it, and maybe some raisins, or I have um, craisins, like cranberries, that are dry. Now, I didn't have any seeds at my house, but maybe you have sunflower seeds at your house or another kind of seed, and birds love seeds. So if you do have seeds, then you can put it on there. And the last thing we need is something to tie it with so we can hang it on a tree. Okay, so we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna move it back so you can see me. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get lots of peanut butter out. This jar is almost empty. So the reason I'm covering it with peanut butter is so that all the other things stick onto it. Okay? Ooh, looks like our hands might get messy, so be careful of your hands. I'll cover one side with peanut butter. I'm gonna put it on my plate and cover other side with peanut butter. This can be a messy job, huh? You could roll it in the peanut butter. Whatever works for you. Maybe you think of something different that you could use other than peanut butter to get it to stick. I would love to hear what you guys come up with. Okay, so first step is done. I have my peanut butter on there. I am going to wipe my hand off because I got peanut butter all over my fingers. Okay, so next I'm going to take some of my Cheerios. Or if you have a different kind of cereal, that's okay too. I just picked Cheerios because they're plain, and even though I like really sugary cereal, the birds don't need to eat really sugar, sugary cereal. I'm going to, ooh, it's not doing anything. I'm going to pull this open and get out some raisins. So now I have a pile of raisins and a pile of Cheerios. Now, when I do this, I'm actually, for fun, going to do a pattern. The birds won't be able to recognize the pattern, but I will. Okay. So you can help along as I do this pattern, okay? So I would like to go and do every other Cheerio and Raisin, okay? So I'm going to start with Cheerio, and then I'm going to do a Raisin, and then I'm going to do a Cheerio, and then a Raisin. But what I do after the raisin, it goes Cheerio, Raisin, Cheerio, Raisin. What goes next? That's right, a Cheerio. So Cheerio, and then what's after Cheerio? Raisin, that's right. And then Cheerio, and what's after Cheerio? Raisin, and what's after Raisin? Cheerio, that's right, so I finished that line. I'm going to turn it. Now I'm going to do a different pattern. This time, this pattern I did one, 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 one. So one Cheerio, one Raisin. One Cheerio, one Raisin. Now I'm going to switch it up and I'm going to do two Raisins and two Cheerios. And I'm going to do two raisins. Let me just say, can you guys see this? I have two raisins, two Cheerios, two raisins, and then what do I do? That's right, two Cheerios. And then what comes after two Cheerios? Two raisins, that's right. 
great. Finish that row. So we're going to turn it. Okay. Hmm. What other patterns could we do? If you have more than two things to put on here, your patterns could even be trickier. I just have Cheerios and Raisins today. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do Cheerio, Cheerio, Raisin, Cheerio, Cheerio, Raisin. So this is a little bit trickier of a pattern. If you can see, it goes two Cheerios, one Raisin. Two Cheerios, one Raisin. So what do I put after the one Raisin? That's right, two Cheerios. One, two. You're sticking to me instead of the bird feeder. Okay, the two Cheerios, then what comes next? That's right, one Raisin. Now, if you have doggies at home, make sure that you put this in a place where your dog is not going to get it or that it dries fully before you hang it because dogs can't eat uh, raisins or grapes. Mine are kind of falling off. That's okay. Okay, we're going to turn it to more of a peanut butter side. Okay, let's do a different pattern. Now I'm going to do Raisin, 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 so three raisins, and one, two Cheerios. So I'm going to do three raisins and two Cheerios. So one raisin, two raisins, three raisins, and then how many Cheerios? That's right, two. One, two. So that's a different pattern. I did three, two, three, two. You guys see that? I think the, this peanut butter is starting to melt away, huh? <laughs> so you're going to keep doing that throughout the whole thing. You can do patterns. You can do designs. You could do a whole line of Cheerios and then a whole line of raisins. However you want to do it. You just want to cover up all the peanut butter and get it all stuck together. And then you might want to let it dry for a bit. See, every time I turn it over, they all fall off. Maybe you don't have that problem. Maybe you do. I don't know. Okay. I'm about done. So when I'm done, and once this dries, I'm not going to do it now because I need it to dry a little bit. I'm going to tie a circle. I'm going to put a knot around it and then hang it from a tree out in my backyard. And then I'll get to watch as the birds come by and have a special treat. Isn't that fun? I hope you make one. If you do make one, please take a picture. I would love to see it. Okay, Aladdin, that's all for today. Shalom. Have a wonderful day.